for the video of all things of Ryan Smith. We're calling it Four and Gate Tram Stop, heading down to Stargate Tram Depot. Got a very big video today. What we're going to be doing is we've got to be for at Stargate for nine o'clock, so it's about four minutes to get down there on the tram. And we've got a tour around the depot, which will last about 40 minutes. Then we've got 30 minutes or so on the simulator, which we'll be learning how to drive trams. And then we're going to be on one of the very first trams from Stargate up Talbot Road into North Station. So make sure you stay tuned and watch the rest of this video. Okay, so if you know Blackpool, you'd know where I am right now, just from the back of it. But I am here now at Stargate Tram Depot. Just waiting, it's currently it's around 48 minutes past now, so we're just waiting until it is a bit later on. And then, yeah, we're going to be going on the tram tour, so it will be quite good. <laughs> oh, my mates, but yeah, we're going to be as you can see, here we go, tram just coming out of the depot, ready for service. <laughs> Always a good sign. I do like the new for now. But yeah, we're just waiting for this tour to begin. Not sure what time they'll be coming out, but there will be people here soon to come get us in the next 10 minutes or so. So, I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so I am currently just waiting and I think this is it. Oh. So that's just going in now. I've got my flag and my, little, my high vis. Let's go. So these are the singlets. We're going to be going on them soon. Absolutely. To the tram shed now. Yeah. Little simulator. That was so fun. I'm gonna post that in a separate video just because it is too large to put in this one. All right, so we're just in the shed. We've got Paul and 66 there, and then you've got two balloon ones behind it. You've got Flex T004, Flex T018, and Flex T011. These are all the trams currently in the shed. I think there is one actually behind 018, but I'm not sure what the number is. But yeah, trams have fun. I mean, a few years ago now, they had to put a person back onto the onto the tram the train because uh, they didn't just trust what was going on. So, on the tram, there are two motor bogies under them, one at each end, and there is a, there's a trailer bogey in the middle to support the middle section. Obviously, the trailer bogey hasn't got traction motors on it. So, you basically got is uh, a bogey frame, uh, two axles. Wheels and tyres, uh, primary suspension, that's rubber, secondary suspension, that's also rubber. So that supports the weight of the body, and that is the actual suspension that controls the wheel to rail interface. Um, traction motor, two traction motors, one on each side, they're mounted lengthways on the bogey, um, and they drive the axle through a right angle gearbox. So the input shaft, the input shaft is there. And it goes to a right angle and drives the axle through these teeth. So the gearbox mounts on there, and then we put a nut on that, stretch that stud, tighten it up, and then let the pressure off so it pre preloads the stud. Um, that's basically it, that's what's that's a bulky. It's uh, yeah. dead easy to maintain, built for maintenance. Three braking systems. Three braking systems, yeah. You've got uh, your electric brake. 
So when the driver goes into brake at speed, the traction motor turns into a generator and your back feeds, back feeds into the overhead. If the overhead line is not receptive, i.e. if the voltage of the overhead is higher than the voltage going in, it dissipates it through resistors. Uh, and then you've got your hydraulic brake, which is what these are. These are like, you know, commercial vehicle brake calipers almost. Disc brakes? Yeah, disc brakes. They spring apply, hydraulic release. So on your car, when you press your brake pedal, it's hydraulic apply. Right. On these, you prime a spring in, in, the, in the caliper, and that's what applies the brake. To release the brake, you have to apply pressure to the caliper. So if one of these pipes was to burst, the brakes would automatically Fail come on. Fail safe. Fail safe. Yeah. 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 And your third brake is your electromagnetic track brake, which is this down here. It's basically a giant electromagnet. And in an emergency situation, yeah, that slams down on the track. You probably hear it when, when you switch your tram on, yeah, you hear a banging noise. That's the six track brakes on the three bogies slamming down to the track. You don't, you don't, want, your, you don't want your fingers between the, the, the track brake and the railway. Yeah, no, no, no. it's, uh, it's pizza time. Do you actually have more bogies than trams? Have you got a float? Of we've got a float, yeah. We've got uh, two motor bogies and one trailer bogie. We've got one tram's worth of spare bogies. Right. Mm -hmm. So we've got one away for heavy overhaul at the moment. So we go into a lane, drive over the lane, and the wheels turn and stick it through the track. So just from the slow island depot, I am now on the on the trap. We're going to be going up to um, what's it? North Station, then up to Fleetwood. Then I don't know if we're going back into North Station, but we might be then back down to Stargate. So it's going to be good. Jen on the movie here as well. She's a YouTuber. Just seen her, and yeah, be good. We'll have some fun. So I think we're going to move closer to the front just so then we can see going up North Station or towards North Station. Alright guys, so we are just coming up to Central Pier now, so we'll be heading up into North Station in around 5 or 6 minutes. Wait, I can just see Odyssey, they've got it back in Blackpool. So, it'll be fun this, can't wait. This, this will be the will be the first people to go from North Station to Fleetwood Ferry on a, on like a tram. I don't think we've done it before yet, so it will be yours. But yeah, see you just when we get in towards the North Pier. Here we go, turning in.
So guys, we do have 10 minutes here at North Station. 10 minutes. Right, so we're now at Blackpool Road Station. I've got to say, I do like it. I mean, it, it's a bit bland, it's not really too much. At this point in time, there is absolutely nothing. It is literally simply just a tram, some tracks, and a platform. But I mean, to say, I don't really know what to say about it, but to say that it's brand new, it's opening on Sunday for good. I quite like it. See, they've, they've put buffers in as well because it's the end of the line. But yeah, it is the only proper terminus that Blackpool have got with buffers. So yeah, we've got about 10 minutes here and then we are heading up towards Fleetwood Ferry. So, see you in just a second. As you can see there, we've got a general view here. YouTube with over 11,000 subscribers. So yeah, I have just got. We are on 018, which is my favourite one. Might I just add? But yeah, it's. I'll take you for a quick look on board. Dennis, shall I come? As you can see, we've got some seats here. Uh, more seats down there. We're going to see if we can take a quick look at the cab. I'm just here with Jen on the move, who's Hello. got over 11,000 subscribers on YouTube. What are your thoughts on the new extension? Always good to see investment in public transport. I feel like this one's a bit of a miss though. The timetable to go with this is going to be absolutely awful. <sighs> I think, God, I think when the time, time comes around in the height of summer, they're going to regret some of these choices that they've made here. Good to see you, by the way. Yeah, you too. We're now just leaving North Station, <laughs> heading up towards Fleetwood Ferry. With his T3. on the simulator before which you will see in my other video <laughs> Ambulance. We are now back on the move. We're now back on the main line. Right, so we are just pulling into Cleveland's now. We will not be stopping, we will be going straight through 
There's the 3A. But I've got to say, I absolutely love the new extension. I do agree with Jin on the move. I think timetables are going to cause pure havoc and completely mess everything up. But if public transport can do it correctly, it should work out just fine. But you never know. You never know. So yeah, we're nearly up by... Uh, yeah, just going straight through here at Cleaves, I think. We might be stopping actually. But we will be going straight through. But yeah, be a bit of fun. Okay, so we're just sort of heading up towards Fleetwood Ferry at Fishman's Walk now. We will be getting, getting off for a few minutes soon. And then heading back down towards Stargate. And then I've got to head straight back up as I have got work this afternoon. So, fun. Okay, so we are now in Fleetwood. Ooh, police cars. But yeah, we're getting we're getting off in a few moments. As you can see, somebody has been nicked, which is always funny. <laughs> That's what happens when you lose the labor power. You will always get somebody getting arrested. Okay, that's now we're at Victoria Street here, and we'll be straight up at Fleetwood Ferry. Right, so we're just leaving Fleetwood Ferry now. And I've just talked to the driver Chanel, and she's going to just let me jump. She's going to stop the tram so I can just get off at Fountain Gate. So it saves me having to go all the way back down to Stargate to then come all the way back to Bonnet Tram. Otherwise, it will just take me way too long. It will be like an extra hour. Whereas this can be back at home in half an hour. So yeah, we'll do that, and I'll see you shortly. So we are now just at Fisherman's Wharf. We've then got Sandy Road, Lindo Road, Heathfield Road, Broadwater, Russell Square, Russell School, Russell Beach, Thornton Gate, and that is where we are getting off. Talk to the driver and she will let me get off there. She's an absolute legend. But yeah, we're going to get off there and then we'll walk back to ours. About a five ten minute walk, edit the video, and yeah, get ready for work. Um, I'll tell you what, I do quite like this. I'll do a proper summary just as I'm just trying to get off the tram and so. Right, so we are getting off in just a second. There's the 24. Spinning around, just going past Russell. There's the Altair Solo. But yeah, we're getting off in two minutes, about two minutes or so. And yeah, it'll be fun. Do a proper in depth um, analysis of the video in just a moment. So I'll see you at Thornton Gate, Trump Stark. Right, so um, Chanel let us off at Thornton Gate. Uh, we're just going to walk down towards my street. About a five minute walk. But yeah, it was quite good. What I'll tell you what I thought, right? I think it was a smooth ride. Quite liked it. Salbit Road. Oh my God. It, yeah, it's gonna, the timetables are going to be absolutely screwed up. But I think at the end of the day, it will work depending on what they do and how they decide to run it it is going to end up working in the long run and it is green some crossing but yeah I'm quite happy with it at the minute there are no shops at no station which there are plans for there to be shops so with any help it should start running smoothly but yeah quite happy with it it was absolutely amazing to me, Jen on the move. Been watching her videos for good good year now. And I love watching them. It's just so so entertaining and a bit of fun. So yeah. But 
I definitely recommend the next time if they do open another extension, I definitely recommend paying for it. It it was absolutely amazing. But yeah, quite happy. But yeah, um if you've got any questions about the video, let me know down below. I'm gonna post the video of me on the simulator on my Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, everything that I've got. But yeah, yes, I can't believe it. Quite like that. And um, a bit of good news as well. I am been talking to the driver, Chanel and Anthony, who was the conductor. I've been talking to them today and I am going to apply to be a Blackpool Transport tram driver. So let this truck go past. But yeah, I'm gonna let them go past. I'm gonna let I'm gonna got to do this application. Obviously, got to get my CV sorted and stuff. But I am 100% gonna apply for Blackpool Transport, whether that's driving the trams or conducting the trams. But yeah, because you have to be 18 to do it, and I fit the criteria for it as well. So that's not too bad. A bit. I'll have been driving for at least six months by then, so I will be able to drive them as long as I don't get six points on my license, which I won't. But my car is currently not working, so I might have to get the bus to work, which I don't fancy doing. So yeah, anyway, I'll see you in the next video. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on another video. Now, with all that being said,